Well, hello, Virgo. How's it going? I hope you are very well. My name is Diane, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And um, we're going to do a little reading for me, but uh, you know, timeless reading. Blah blah blah. You are so welcome here, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully, the reading will resonate with you, and. Um, you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And if that is the case and you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I'd appreciate that a lot. You do have the world here at the bottom of this deck and you have the page of cups. Um, kind of looks to me like you're leaving something behind that broke your heart. And there's like, a, you're closing down a cycle and there's a new love coming in. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this deck. What uh, is going on for Virgo? Yep, there's the death card. You have the death card and the ace of pentacles, Virgo. So this could be about something that's currently ending or you releasing something from the past. The death card can be both. Um, it could also be you coming out of like a dark night of the soul. Release the past, there is a more enriching future coming, let go and let God. And you have the ace of pentacles here as well. It's your lucky day, new resources of money, time or support so the ace of pentacles is um someone coming in to make you an offer clarify this uh ace of pentacles please <clears throat> i feel like you're gonna find peace as well with this new person <clears throat> sorry virgo yeah you have the queen of cups here so this person could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces or they could just show up as someone that has those traits, um, very kind, says it on the card, kind, understanding, giving, psychic as well, they might be quite psychic, very compassionate, very loving person. The Queen of Cups is Cancer energy because it's like a love of home and family. So there's some kind of offer coming in from this person. They could also have a little, oh, there's, I don't know, this could be the person that you're letting go of as well though. Queen of Swords here, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, this this new person, male or female, is coming in to make you this offer. They're new. Page of Cups, Pisces energy, a new emotional situation. Um, messages regarding relationships or social invitations. See how green this person is as well. I feel like they're gonna be very healing for your heart chakra. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. I think you're having to make a choice. Um, they're saying, let yourself be guided by spirit, okay, when you're making this choice. Which maybe is not, maybe, I don't know, as a Virgo, you're like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to make a list. I want, the, I want to do the logical thing. But, you know, sometimes you just have to go with your heart with your heart Virgo or with what your gut is telling you or what your intuition is telling you this person could be a Gemini a Libra or a Taurus that you're getting a message from or that you're about to meet okay um, let, let's see, what, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles coming in for Virgo. The Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, it's so handy when they clarify with the same card. You have the Eight of Wands here as well, so there's some kind of communication. Um, what is this Ace of Pentacles? Did I turn this microphone on? Yes. You have the Tower. And you have the, yeah, they're coming in very fast here for a go. Something's about to happen quickly for you. The Ace of Swords, there's going to be some kind of breakthrough here. Like whether you've met this person or not, I feel it's like you're leaving someone behind or you're leaving the memories of someone behind, but this is definitely somebody new. I mean, you could already know them, right? Um, some of you will know who they are, some of you are, will not. They're co mm, coming in with this love offer. 
and they have a lot of love to give you Virgo they're coming in very fast though mm -hmm. you have a lot of fast moving energy in this reading you have three aces as well <laughs> there's only like seven cards there and three of them are aces that's a lot. <laughs> They're going to be very different than who you've dealt with in the past. More Gemini, Taurus, Libra energy. Um, you have the Nine of Wands here. Maybe you're a little suspicious of this person at first. They're definitely someone new. You have all the new cards here. Pisces energy. They could be younger than you. Uh, sorry about the glare but very like romantic, very innocent, very youthful, playful energy. And I feel they're gonna show up in your life out of nowhere. Um, or like there's an emotional message that comes out of nowhere. Okay, clarify the Knight of Swords, please. This person is boss energy, whoever they are. I do feel like they may have been in a bit of a dark night of the soul. Hmm. This is someone who has had a problem in the past with overgiving, <clears throat> like being a bit of a people pleaser. They've been in like a dark night of the soul, soul sort of stasis kind of thing, dealing with a lack of confidence. There was something that happened in their past. There could be many things that happened in their past, but it it gave them a lack of confidence. Okay, which I think in turn kind of made them this king of swords energy like maybe a little guarded a little emotionally closed off you could definitely be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius specifically it could be a gemini because you have the the knight of swords is gemini energy <clears throat> sorry about my throat virgo clarify the knight of swords please the two of pentacles Someone here is walking away from a, a relationship or something very long term. <clears throat> Clarify this. They're not sad anymore. I want to say this person is not sad anymore. Like they've come out of a dark night of the soul. Clarify the Two of Pentacles, please. You have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of, uh, the Eight of Cups. This could be you that has walked away from a relationship or, <clears throat> excuse me, they've walked away from a relationship. It could be both of you. Like both of you may be walking away from other things. Yeah, you have the coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. going to be very different to who you've dealt with in the past like anyone that you've dealt with in the past I think you're going to be a little suspicious of them because I have a feeling you've been hurt in the past okay but be assured this person's love is pure you have heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together perfect Meeting the one, opening your heart. This person's going to be very good for your heart chakra, okay? Clarify this two of pentacles, please. Ha! You tried to fall, but I caught you. You have the snake and the phoenix. Yeah, this person's made a decision. There's the girl with the snake. Okay. And you have the camera. Um... This person has recently, I think you're both doing the same thing. I think you've recently left something. 
and this person has made a decision to walk away from someone that was a snake because you have the snake and you have girl with a snake obviously if you're dealing with a guy it would be boy with a snake but or man with a snake you know if you want to get technical um this is someone from their past because you have the camera here it doesn't necessarily mean that the person from the past was a snake but yeah, you have this girl with a snake here, empath in narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. So I think, because the snake talks about competition, and obviously, you know, at least in the West, we have that association with the snake being like underhanded and stuff. Um, I think they were dealing with someone very charming I think they were dealing with someone like it was like a lot of competition with this person in the past it, there may have been like an empath narcissist thing but I think this person taught them boundaries but they've chosen to walk away and they're coming towards you okay um and you have the phoenix here which is like the phoenix rising from the ashes so it's like releasing something letting all that go and then here they come like this to, to give you love so I feel like that's what they've made this decision to walk away from and I also feel like I said I think you've made the decision to walk away from someone too, you know. So they're going to come in very, very fast. I want to see what the, I feel like this Nine of Wands is you and I want to see why. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Oh, the Four of Swords. Yeah, you may have had your heart broken because the Four of Swords comes from, comes after the Three of Swords, obviously, which is like the, the heartbreak card. So you may have dealt with, you definitely have, either recently or further back. Doesn't matter. You know, even if it's further back, people heal at different time times, right? Um, I think you had your heart broken in the past. So you're just a little suspicious of this person, okay? But they have nothing but love for you. The, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups. If anything, the only thing is with this person, they might move kind of fast. I don't, they're not gonna get, you know, impatient with you. They might just have a bit of a reckless streak or something, or they just, they move fast. It doesn't even have to be that they're reckless. They just, they're just a fast moving person. Yeah, see again, I feel like this is you because you have the seven of pent um, pentacles. Oh, so the seven of pentacles can talk about, like you might have been waiting for this person for a while or like I said, you know, you may have ended something and you were, you've kind of been in like no man's land where you've been healing. You know, we have the Seven of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. So in the traditional Rider Waite, the Seven of Cups, you know, it's the one with all the different options and one of them has like the cups. One of them's covered over, but one of them has a snake and a Medusa and all this. So I feel like you've been hurt in the past, but there's this new love who, you may not know much about them. You know, they may be a bit of an unknown quantity. So when they first appear, um, or when they return, if you know them. You know, they might just seem too good to be true. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, okay? But they're not, okay? Um, you have the Ace of Cups, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships. This person is gonna make you very happy, okay? It might just take you a little while to relax into it, but that's okay. They'll wait, they'll wait for you. Um, any signs for this person coming towards Virgo? I feel they're coming in very fast, okay? And they're going to make you this offer, so maybe they're going to ask you on a date, right? Ace of Pentacles is like, you want to go for coffee? Uh, you want to go for lunch? Let me buy you a drink? They could definitely be Gemini, so they might be a very like fast-moving energy, okay? But you can say to them, you know, I 
see the thing is I don't feel like they're gonna want you to move fast I think I don't know why I'm picking this up because it's not really relevant but they just they just move fast you know it's just Gemini energy whoa hello okay they could also have Leo <laughs> um, and see you might be worried I would take that one. You might be worried that this person is flighty or something. Maybe that's why I'm talking about them moving fast. Like maybe you see this person as like, oh, they're gonna get bored with me or they're not gonna stay. Um, Cause that combination of Gemini and Leo, uh, no shade to Gemini. I'm a Gemini myself, but that combination of Gemini and Leo, maybe they're a little extroverted or I, sh I should say a little more extroverted than you. Um, they're not going anywhere, okay? They're not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about that. They, mi they might move fast, but you know, if you just say to this person, like, just, just chill, okay? <laughs> They'll be like, okay, cool, okay. Um, they also seem to have Capricorn in their chart, which kind of looks, you know, that's nice because they, <laughs> they have the air and the fire, but they also seem to have a little Capricorn so you know that'll be very grounding for them and they're probably a very hard worker all this kind of stuff i'm gonna get one for what is the whoa yeah they walked away from someone okay i don't know why they would want to talk about this but um they were maybe it's just so you understand them a bit more virgo they're showing up as this queen of wands which I associate that with uh, Gemini as well, but they could be Aries, Leo, Sag. But it's someone very confident, you know, it's someone who, it's Leo energy. They get a lot of attention, they're very alluring, uh, they could own their own business, they could be like in the spotlight, they could be a manager or something like this. But they were dealing with this Knight of Wands, like an immature kind of energy. Um, see how the Queen is older? You know, the Knight of Wands is very charming, like very, very charming, like it's an in and out type of energy, they're chaotic, so I feel like they walked away from them, they were just like, nah, we're done. Okay, just, I don't know, maybe someone needs to hear that. Uh, what is the outcome of this situation with Virgo and this new person? Let's go into a different deck just for fun. Okay, I just saw the Queen of Swords, so they could definitely be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, funny, uh, a good public speaker, could be a teacher. Saw the Ace of Wands a few times, so I think you're gonna be very attracted to this person. But they're also very sweet. You know, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the love is very genuine. And the Queen of Cups, like they're very understanding, you know, they're very compassionate. If this is someone you've been waiting for, the Hanged Man in Reverse, the wait is over. What is the outcome for Virgo and this new person? Please, Spirit. The Ten of Cups. There you go. So I saw the Queen of Wands, so they could definitely be embodying this Queen of Wands energy, whatever sign they are. Um, Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You're gonna be very happy with this person, okay? So, you know, if they come across as flighty, just know that that has nothing, it's not gonna, like they're not gonna be flighty about you, okay? Because they chose you. It seems to be that they chose you, you know? Because they had this person who was like very kind of, I wanna say like a little maybe manipulative or like a player, right? Knight of Wands energy can be like very charming, like player type energy, but they were like, no, I want Virgo. Um, you know, Ten of Cups is settling down with someone, marriage, a family, total emotional fulfillment, commitment. So they're not gonna be flighty, okay? They might come across as flighty, but they're not, you know, gonna be like that with you, okay? <laughs> and if they're stressing you out, you can be like, you need to chill, <laughs> okay? Um, and the Wheel of Fortune, it, it feels like a destined connection, to be honest. So that is your message, Virgo. I hope you found it useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. 
don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that i'd appreciate it very much and as always i wish you many many blessings love and light take care